Hi everyone and welcome to the fourth video of this series of tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to make the type 4 of wire netting using geometry nodes and Blender. Let's get started. We are in Blender version 3.3.0 and go in the plus button, General, Geometry Nodes, Shift A to add mesh, Simple Plane is a good selection, press new for the new geometry node modifier and we need to create many rings. So Blender doesn't have the mesh or primitive torus in our case, so we have to make uh, from scratch. Create a curve line, create with F3 a circle curve that we want to convert to mesh with a duplication of the same curve, use it with the profile, radius is too big so we can decrease the number. In real environment I saw 0.022 meter and 0.003 meter, this is perfect. We can increase to 64 the count of the resolution of the ring. We need to transform this geometry along the Y axis by 90 degrees and we can export the radius of the ring and radius of the profile curve and go to group, rename the first radius to ring radius and uh, profile radius, save the project, select all these nodes, Control J, F2, single ring. Now we need to instance this ring along a vertical line and then instance the entire vertical line along an horizontal line. So let's create a curve line. We need to resample the curve by not the count but the length. So we have the size of this ring. So we want to resample by the information of the radius of the ring. And we don't want the point changes their position by the total length of this curve line. So we have to check length, can link this together and instance on point the geometry of the ring. So we can link this and link the ring here. Shift, Alt and click and we have the instance instances. We can get group input to export the height of this curve but to better manipulate the number of the ring in this direction and then in this direction we have to snap the height by the radius itself of the ring. So we can use a combine XYZ for the end point, use the z-axis, so this is the direction that we want. I can export this information and rename it in height from zero, but in the middle of this line I have to snap this information, so I put this up and use the math operation of snapping using an increment. What is the increment? The increment is the radius uh, multiplied by 2. So if I link this directly and go here to increase the height, we have this result. So I would have to link the ring radius in the length of this, but this is the result and we don't want that. We want double this distance. So I have to multiply this uh, ring radius by two and use this as the increment and the length of the resemble curve. And this is the result. Three, to go in the right orthographic view, collapse the nodes to better see the graph. Now we need to offset the position of each two rings by the radius of the single ring or a similar value. So to do this I have to add here before the instance a set position to offset the position of our rings and use the index with a module math operation each two of our rings so we will have 0, 1, 0, 1 etc. We can use these with a map range and say that we want uh, from 0 to 1 we want 0 for the first, the third etc. ring but with all rings that have one value from this module we want the value of the ring 
radius and we want to offset these using a combine XYZ but in what axis? The Y axis. So we can link these to the offset and we have the offset here. Now, next step, we can select all these nodes, Ctrl J and F2, Mono Vertical Instance. Now we have to instance these to this direction. So we need another curve line. We can use the same group input, group input and use a combine XYZ but we want to use the Y axis for this direction of the line so we can link these and export the Y go here renaming width from zero and move up the value we can use the same way as before so we can snap the width using the ring radius so we can link the width and ring radius and using these as the y and also use this value for the resample curve here by the length as before and link this so we can instance on point so we can instance on this point, the point of this curve, what? This entire vertical instance, shift, alt and click, and we see nothing because we don't have width. So I can simply enter one here. So I have a wrong value here. I have to set the ring radius here in the length. So it's correct. Now you are seeing the same behavior as before. So we need to multiply the ring radius by two and use these as the increment of the snapping. So we can collapse this node, the snap node, to see better the graph, 3, Shift Z to see this result. So we can select all these nodes, Ctrl J, F2, all instances. So we can check the result playing with the width and height value. Okay, perfect. Now we need to rotate these rings, but uh, it was a little complicated to uh, make a relationship between the ring radius, profile radius, and the degrees of rotation of each ring. So we can start with this operation. So we know that we want to rotate in one direction all these rings and all these rings to the right for example and these rings and these rings to the left so we have to alternate the rotation we need to manipulate the rotation of the first instance on point so the first vertical instances and to do this we can use the same index and module result to make a map range node and export minus one and one multiply by a value of uh, our degrees i set this to zero for now and we want to convert to radians this value because i will use a combine xyz node we want to rotate to the z axis and link these to the rotation so i can select all these nodes shift click and click to deselect the section g and click to incorporate these nodes in the section and shift z to see the geometry and you can see if i increase this value we have the rotation of these uh, rings and these rings to the right and these rings to the left now set this to zero and after lots of tests and checks i found pretty well i think uh, a solution to make the relationship between the ring radius the profile radius and the degrees so i'll explain a little bit press 3 shift z to see the overlapping of this geometry we can start with uh, the all instances to decrease this distance from this ring with a map range so we need to indicate a relationship between the ring radius 
and ring radius itself to subtract this value multiplied by 2 and get a correct length resample value. So I tested lots of cases so you can play after this uh, tutorial with the number and you can find your perfect solution if you want. So link the ring radius here, use this to subtract a value and use this subtract value to the length. So if I set 0 nothing changes so if I increment this value you can see the distance decrease from these two rings so we need to link these to these and play with this value turn off the clamping so we want a linear proportional changing of this position so I found this value for a correct uh, solution of my tutorial. They are the values. We need the same uh, operation here before the snap operation here and the length uh, resample curve here. So I forgot to link these output to the snap. This is correct. We can move a little bit these nodes to see better the result. Collapse this node. Perfect. Now we can move to the mono vertical instance and use the same concept with shift D and duplicate this map range. Use the ring radius here as the value but before using this map range we can see uh, that we can align a little bit this internal point of the ring to this internal point of this ring. To do this I can just uh, duplicate this multiply value, add here, use the subtract value and use the profile value multiplied by 2, so 1 is not enough, and use this to subtract the value, use this for the length and for the snapping. So this is the result, you can see this point now is aligned with this point, turn off the clamping, collapse the value and we will use another subtract node so we need to use this output as the length and also for the snapping now I move a little bit these nodes to better see the result okay 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 perfect now we can link this result to the subtract value so this is uh, too big but you can use this from mean and from max value equal to the value described in the map range of this section so you can see the from min and from max they are the same but the two min and two max value are different because we are in this resample operation of the curve line in vertical direction these are the correct mapping so now uh, they are the result i discovered that the same result of this map range we can also use it to this map range of the offset in this direction so we can subtract to the ring radius the same value of this map i discovered that they are the same value and they are a good balance and now we have this result turn off the clamping here and we have this result so you can see a symmetry a mirror effect with these rings okay not perfect in this direction and this direction i know uh, but uh, is perfect to simulate the touching of the rings to themselves so we need to apply the same idea to the value of the degrees that we want to apply for this line of rings and this line of rings so uh, to correctly set this value i should use two map range one for the influence of the ring radius so if i increase the ring radius you can see the rotation should be smaller because the profile radius is proportionally smaller than the ring radius so the degrees should be smaller if i decrease the ring radius the degrees should be bigger to let them cross with each other so shift z to see the geometry and we need to have two map range one for the for the proportion of the ring radius so we can duplicate this group input with a shift d we can link the profile radius to this value turn off this two clamping link the ring radius to the second map range and set these values they are the 
values we want and we want to multiply this result here with this output because we have here with the control j f2 profile influence a value in the output that we want to multiply with the other factor because the linear graph of the ring radius changes differently than the profile radius so we can see a linear increasing of the value so we have from 0 to 3 to 0 and 12 and here we have the opposite a lower number gives us a higher number a higher number gives us a lower number so we have here a graph like this so we have 0 and 0 0.03 and the result is 0 in this axis and here we have 12 so this is the linear equation but here we have 0 0.02 2 and 0 0.044 and here we have two points one is 2 and one is 1 so the graph is here and we have a decrement this line go up and this line go down so if we increase the profile radius we have to increase the degrees if we increase the ring radius we have to decrease the degrees okay sorry for the words joke now we can hide this annotation and now we can select this node ctrl j f2 ring influence you can drag in this section to include the in, the in it and now we can use this output of multiplied values as the degrees and this is the result so you can see a good knot collision between the rings and if we increase the radius you can see the correct degrees of these rings so if i decrease or increase we have a correct increasing or decreasing of the degrees and if i play with the profile value i have the same result so i can use these as i want uh, you have to pay attention that over uh, some values the results uh, uh, sucks so there could be a collision between the rings if i decrease the ring the profile radius um, it's all okay but if i increase uh, with a big number you can see starting a collision problem so in the real world uh, you could probably not uh, make these correctly if you increase the ring radius so you can correct some representation of these values it was a little difficult to to find this value of this relationship for the final step we need to assign set material node so we can add a simple metal material set the roughness to 0 0.05 metallic to 1 select from this menu and turn on the material preview and this is the result go to layout select the object focus on it material preview enabled and you can play with this value as you want you can see can increase or decrease the profile radius and ring radius to have the result i want thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like it if you want to leave a comment i will appreciate it check a like if you want and if you have subscribed to my channel please make sure to check the bell icon to get all the notifications about new posted videos you can download this project from my gumroad page or you can make this workflow on your own at the end of all this video i'll add an additional link to let you download the entire bundle of these projects and see you in type 5. Bye!